my channel or if you are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, I have some very fun and exciting news to share with you. If you've been here for a while, you've heard me talk about Habitation Box, and if you've never heard of them before, they are a monthly home decor subscription service that ships new home decor to your front door every single month. And I have teamed up with the owner of Habitation Box, Kelly, to create my own curated box for you guys. So I handpicked these items, and in today's video, I will be going over each item, how how much the box is, my discount code for you guys, and also how I styled these items here in our home. I hope that you guys are as excited as I am for this video. All the details and links that you'll need to know will be in the description box down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get onto it. The first thing that I wanted to go over is everything inside my curated box. This will be $169.99 and I will have a discount code for you, Molly10, to save if you do decide to purchase my box. Now, the first item has been a very highly sought after item that I've gotten so many questions on over on my Instagram and here on my YouTube channel. It is the infamous wooden plant stand or candle holder. I have used this in my kitchen over the last few months. And again, the questions have just been endless. I send over a link to at least one person a day because everyone loves it. The thing that I love to look for in home decor items are pieces that I can use all around my house and throughout all of the season. And this is definitely one of those items. The second item is this beautiful olive tree. I absolutely love having olive stems or olive trees around our home. My favorite way to style this olive tree is to put it inside of a pot or vase. Gives it a little more visual interest. And again, this is definitely an item that you can use in multiple areas of your home. And the third item is this brass storage box. This is so pretty. I love the brass detailing and it does have the glass detailing as well. You can open this. So if you do want to put anything in here, you can. I have this styled in my office, but I also shared with you in today's video how I styled it over on our coffee table. I've been loving adding brass into our home and this is a great option because it can be used for so many different styling options and I love the fact that you can open it if you did want to store jewelry or something like that inside. The fourth item is this beautiful cement photo frame. I love incorporating photos of our family into our home to make it a little more personal. That was definitely one of my tips when I created my 10 ways to elevate your home was to really personalize your home and I love to do that with adding family photos into our space. The fifth item in my box is this chambray lumbar pillow. I love the detailing on here. It's a nice beige color, which will go with a lot of different colors, which is great no matter what color scheme you have. Number six is this throw blanket. If you have been here for a while, you know that I have an obsession with throw pillows and throw blankets, so I could not say no to this one. And it is just so beautiful. I love the colors. It's a nice beige on black, and it really goes with any home decor style or color scheme. Scheme. I styled this over on our couch and I laid it on to the edge of our couch with pillows layered over it. You can also put this onto a blanket ladder, which we also have in our living room, or you can style it into some sort of basket. And the last but not least item number seven is this jute beaded garland, which I believe you can never have too many of these. You can use these again in so many different areas of your home. I really like to style them hanging out of a bowl or on top of a book, something like that, just to give a little more texture to a space that you are trying to style. So that is everything that you will be getting in my curated box. Now we are going to jump over to me showing you how I style these items here in my home. Again, if you are interested in purchasing my curated box from Habitation Box, Make sure to check the description box down below for the link and my discount code. And now let's go ahead and get into the decorating portion. 
Starting with this woven throw blanket, I'm going to be draping this on the corner of our couch in our living room. I love the plaid detailing here and adding throw blankets adds a lot of texture and cozy feel to any space in your home. Adding items that are not only beautiful but also functional are one of my favorite things to add into our home. The fringe detailing on this throw blanket is another one of my favorite parts about this. This color can also go throughout the year with you, so if you wanted to, you could keep this out year round, which I absolutely love. Next, layering in this chambray lumbar pillow with some beautiful fringe detailing on the ends with one of our current pillows that we already had. Layering pillows is a, another really easy way to make your home feel more luxurious and high-end. For our coffee table, starting with this cement photo frame, this is a great way to personalize your home style by putting a picture of your family or your fur babies. I need to still get one printed out, but I plan on putting a picture of me and my husband in here. And then I am taking this brass glass box and I'm going to be placing that right in front of the cement photo frame. Next, layering in this beaded tassel, I'm first going to show you how I draped it over the photo frame, and then I'm also going to show you how I set it on top of the brass box. I would love to know your opinion in the comments down below which one you liked better. Taking a pot that I got from the Magnolia Market, I am going to take the beautiful olive tree and place that inside. I love to get down on more of an eye level to see how I need to adjust the branches to make sure that they look nice and full. And to finish off this coffee table styling, I'm taking this wooden plant stand or how I use it as a candle stand and placing that right in the corner of those two stylings that I just did. I'm going to be taking a candle from Habitation Box as well and placing that on top. I love having a candle over in my living room to give it a nice fragrant smell. So that is going to complete this video. I hope that you enjoyed coming along, seeing every single item that I curated for my collab with Habitation Box and also seeing how I styled them here in my home. I'd love to know which item was your favorite, so make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Again, if you guys are interested in purchasing my curated box, the link and my discount code will be in the description box down below. I appreciate your support more than you'll ever know. Thank you so much for being here for today's video. If you're not already, please make sure to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram and I will see you in my next one. Bye.